and welcome to today's video. Today I'm going to do a what's in my bag video which I feel like is a very common video in the beauty community and I think I've done one or two of these before. I've definitely done one when I was using my Prada Safiano bag and I don't know if I did another one before that. I can't remember. I probably have filmed a few but I film a lot of videos that I don't upload in the end so who knows? So the bag that I'm going to be showing you today is this one. It is the Louis Vuitton Pochette Matisse in the Empreinte Leather. It is in black and I love this bag. If you watch my 2017 favorites video then you will know that Tobias bought me this bag as a gift. There's a whole story to it so go check out that video if you're curious. But today I'm just going to show you what I've been carrying in this bag. So for a very long time for work, I'd say for the, for the last 10 years of work, I've always carried a pretty large tote like something similar to the Prada Safiano tote that I used to have. I still have it, I've just put it on the shelf now because it got really damaged. I think I used it for about three years straight and I'll be honest, that bag does not hold up very well. So I wouldn't recommend it. I will say I was happy that Prada fixed it for me completely free of charge, like they repiped everything, did a whole bunch of changes to the leather. So I was really happy about that, but it just made me not want to use it as much. I digress. If you ever want to hear me talk about bags, you let me know and I can do that. But anyways, we're here to talk about what's in this bag today. So the difference between this bag and a tote bag is to me space-wise quite a bit of a change. And I was nervous when I first started going into a pochette Matisse because I wasn't sure whether I could survive in a bag this small. But I tell you, when you force yourself into a small space, you learn to just live in a small space. So I managed to live out of this happily without any concerns. But now that I'm back at work, I'm going to let you guys know what I might be changing. So anyways, this is basically a top handle bag and it has a crossbody strap that you could put across your body. So I love it for that versatility, but I also love holding it like a little suitcase. I just feel like it looks super boss. In the back, it has a zipper and this is where I always store my mobile phone right here. It's because I usually wear it like this against my body so I can always just reach in quickly and grab my phone and dump it back down again. So it just made it really easy for that. When you open up the bag, it's kind of a like click and it opens and inside you have three compartments. Don't know if you can, yeah, yeah you can see three compartments. There's a small one in the back, this one and this one. So I have nothing, oh, I have a coin. I have a $2 coin in the back pocket. I don't normally put anything in there generally. I kind of reserve that slot for any like special things like when I had to carry my passport around with me for a little bit I put it in there. Sensitive materials I'll put it into that last pocket but for the most part I don't actually really use it. So this is going to look like a Louis Vuitton ad now that I think about it because everything in here, almost everything in here is by Louis Vuitton. So the first thing I have is a mini pochette and this I just use to store just really basic things like painkillers, band-aids, eye drops, contact lenses. I have a lipstick in here and I think I have a small set of Apple headphones. So this just is kind of like, you know, all those loose items that you sometimes need. Maybe you're out and you've got like a headache or you've got dry eyes or anything like that. So this is kind of that like utilities bag, I would say. Like most handbags have a utilities section. This is what it is for me. Also in the back pocket with it, I have keys. And then I have this little coin purse. I don't think you can buy these anymore. These are quite old. If you've been following me for a while now, then you'll know that I've been generally collecting these sort of luxury goods and handbags for over 10 years because I've been working for that long. So yeah, this one is very old. I think I got this probably eight to nine years ago. If you look at the zipper, it's like, it's, it's worn. Yeah, this would probably be worth very little to nothing now. I have this little like keychain on it, which is actually just a mirror, which I find really useful for like checking your teeth if you're out for meals or anything like that. So just a small little mirror I find really useful. And then honestly, all I do is carry coins in here. And then in the front pocket, I have two items. I have a long wallet, which I use to store notes and some cards, nothing fancy. I don't actually remember the name of this wallet, but it is in the Damier, uh, the Damier Abin coated canvas for Louis Vuitton. And this is the only non Louis Vuitton item I have. It is a Tory Burch card holder basically just has a bunch of my cards here and then inside I keep my work ID but I like this because I can basically just grab this and go. I noticed that when I was working for myself a lot I rarely used cash. I would just credit card everything. So I found this really useful just to put in because I could just pull this out and instantly pay for things and that's why I kept all my cash very separate. However back at work now 
not as easy to do it. I, I'm finding it really annoying that all my coins and my cards and my notes are all in like separate sections of the bag. So I think I'm going to be moving back to this wallet. This is the Louis Vuitton Zippy wallet. This is actually quite old looking. I don't know if you guys can see how worn up it is. I've had this for about six or seven years. I keep my things like I rarely sell the things I buy because I think really hard about what I'm going to buy and I almost like 95% of the time know that I want to keep it for a very long time so that's why a lot of the things I have are quite old now. Yeah I don't know I've just had this for a while. I've had quite a few of my friends especially those in like the fashion industry and stuff say I should just upgrade or change it over because it looks so bad and old but it works functionally so and I don't feel like spending more on a wallet if this still works so I'll replace this when it breaks but I like that it can basically hold quite a lot in it so I'm going to be moving all my coins, notes, and cards back into this. I'm not sure whether I'll still keep this one, though. I feel like I might still keep this one. But I just want to keep everything in this wallet. The real issues I have with this bag is really lack of space for work-related stuff. So when I go to work, I traditionally have a backpack, which has my laptop, my cables, and my notebooks, and everything in there. And then I'll carry, like, a tote bag. And usually I have the tote bag because... I want to carry a whole bunch of other stuff. Sometimes I have to dash to a meeting. It's easier just to grab my handbag and throw my laptop in it or throw some notes in it, my notebook, or throw a bottle of water. Or sometimes when I'm out and I just can only buy some lunch and I have to eat it back at my desk, I can throw it in my tote bag. I can't do that with this one. Like, this is really hard to throw a laptop in, for example. So I feel like I'm going to have to retire this for now. I'm definitely going to use it again when I ever get the chance to do something like I did in these last three months. And also I think it's going to work as a really great travel bag. So it's just not very practical right now for work. And maybe on the weekends if I can be bothered to switch things out. Because the one thing I have learned is that, you know that utility bag I had, that little mini pochette? I had like five of those in my tote bag and I don't know why I had so many. I like in one bag I had a toothbrush and toothpaste and combs and hair ties. And then I think in another one, I basically had a whole suite of electronic goods. I had like a camera, I had chargers, I had cables, I had all this sort of stuff. And um, I can't even remember what other things I used to carry, like tissue. I mean, tissues I understand, but like vitamins and I'd have a whole suite of makeup, like powder and mascara and eyeshadow. And honestly, I never used any of that stuff. So I'm not sure why I was carrying all that stuff. I think I just thought I might need it so I kept it with me but these last three months have taught me I do not need hardly any of that stuff so I think honestly what I'm going to have on my actual wallet like what I'm going to need in my essentials in terms of handbags is going to be like a wallet obviously my keys my phone the essentials pouch that is about it like that's four items and I think just with those four items I can switch out of bags really easily I hope but I still feel like I need a tote for those moments when I need to throw my laptop in my bag and just head off to a meeting or something like that. But we'll see how things go. Anyways, I really hope you enjoyed everything in my handbag. I feel like this what's in my handbag is a lot smaller than my previous one and that just makes me really happy to be honest because less stuff means less headaches. If you enjoyed this video, then be sure to like it. If you don't want to miss any of my future videos, then be sure to subscribe. This is Selena reporting for my room. Back to internet.